Hi guys, Paul Fox Sound 88 here. So I've just had something dropped through my letterbox this morning, which I've been waiting for for a long time. So we'll uh, get straight to it. It is this, the first edition issue number one of Raised by Raptors, a new comic book slash graphic novel series, whatever you want to call it, by Oliver Sykes and Ben Ashton Bell. So if nobody knows who they are, I'm pretty sure anyone who's looking at this, this video should know who they are. Oliver Sykes is the lead singer of. Um, well, a local band to me in north of England, Bring Me The Horizon, Deathcore, Metalcore, whatever kids are calling it these days, it's good music anyway. Ben Ashton Bell, I do believe um, Mr Bell has worked on Oliver Sykes' clothing line, Drop Dead, designing a few things and this is why they collaborated and the artwork in this book is absolutely fantastic. I'll just give you a brief summary of what it's about. So Raised by Raptors is set in a alternate reality um, Mayan civilization, maybe Mexico, where humans and dinosaurs coexist together. Um, well, I'm assuming it's coexist at the moment. Um, I have read through it, and there are um, scenes, uh, images of dinosaurs and humans actually in the same settlement, but I'm guessing that's not the case when they start seeing Mr. Bad Boy T-Rexes and things like that. So, um, for a first attempt at a comic book by these two guys, I have to say it is absolutely fantastic. Like I say, I've read through it. Didn't take me long at all. I was engrossed from the start. The artwork is unbelievable. Um, for the setting, I mean, if you want a better um, imagine, imagining of the setting uh, picture, Mel Gibson's Apocalypto with dinosaurs. That's all I can really put it down to. And... Any self-respecting movie lover should love Mel Gibson's Apocalypto because it's a bloody fantastic film. So I'll just um, I'll show you some of the artwork anyway. I won't try and ruin anything, but um, there's the opening scene. I won't zoom in far enough so it ruins any of the story for you. Um, very, very nice Mayan-style drawings. Um, it's create, they have created a really nice um, mythos here. Um, I can see this going very far because um, this project was originally a Kickstarter campaign and I think they wanted to ask for £15,000 to get it done and they ended up raking in just short of 40000 I pledged £20 and that got me this lovely first edition with my name in the book as a thank you at the back and an A3 poster. Um, I'll just go to a nice gory scene to show you what kind of art style is. So obviously little kids art. Probably going to enjoy it, but us, um, us older fellows, say older, I'm only 24, but yeah, that kind of stuff. So the story centres around um, a girl called Cable, or Cabell, how you pronounce it, I'm not sure, I've not heard the author pronounce it. Um, and I think it's about, cause you, don't, you don't really get the overall theme in the first one, it's introducing the character and the, the world and the religion and how... Um, how much how how much of a vicious society my society must have been because it's really really graphic but that's really really good i enjoy that like say apocalypto were like that as well and it was really nice so i think um she's a, a princess in this civilization and some bad shit ends up happening to her she goes on run ends up um falling into a, a clan of velociraptors and gets raised by them out in the wild instead of in Civilization after being exiled, I think it is. So um, yeah, it is. It is really, really fantastic, and I cannot wait for issue two because I'm sure it's going to continue now because it's blown my expectations. I was expecting something good, but not as engrossing as this is. So there's my little video. I'm going to post it on Raised by Raptors Facebook page as well. See if anyone else has done any reviews. I'd love to read them. If you've, um, if you are a comic lover, I would recommend giving this a shot. Just, just, just try it out for a few quid. You get, you know, issue one. If you don't like it, fair enough. But I, I can't see why no one would not like this kind of storyline. It's great. I'll post links to information on Oliver Sykes and Ben Ashton Bell if you want to see any more of their work. Uh, Drop Dead's clothing line, uh, which they they always do great T-shirts, great shoes, everything, everything. They do cost a well, some things are a bit pricey, but you know, if you want quality, that's what you've got to pay for. But I'm digressing now. So anyway. That's my video, thanks for watching.